right, so a few weeks back, I had the opportunity and the honor to be a first-round judge of the Hicksville Shake. Uh, so I thought, what a great opportunity to have Mr. Altman, the principal of the middle school, along with four of the top five, yes. come present a little bit about the Hicksville Shake uh, to our Rotary Club. So here's Mr. Altman. Which is Zane Kazinka and the winner, which is Madeline Hedge. That's pretty 
pretty much all what happened in the shake. Thank you, Alex. Next up, we have Maddie, who was our overall shake winner. Maddie's going to talk about her favorite parts of the shake. This is a very lucky job for me since the whole shake was very, very fun for me. But one of my specific favorite parts would probably be getting to know all of the people, all of the village members who I might not have ever gotten a chance to meet if it weren't for the shake. And I also liked how they weren't just judging you. They seemed really interested in what we were talking about. I also liked how they had constructive criticism and they kind of helped you learn what you did wrong and how to do better in what you were doing. And I really liked that they took the time to do that. And it, it was very nice that they could come and talk to us. Thank you, Maddie. <laughs> Up next, we have Charlie L.A. He's going to talk about what parts of the shake made him nervous. <laughs> um, many things um, scared me about the shake, but the main one was um, that I was just going to mess up everything and I was going to stutter and then um, I was just afraid I was just going to look like a goofball in front of Aww. everyone. <laughs> and, um, and that was the main thing I was most scared about in every single round. But, yeah. You did well. Top five. Thank you, Charlie. And then Zane is going to talk about what you learned from the shake and what he's going to take from it. Um, some things that I learned from the shake is to try not to be nervous or scared whenever you're doing the challenge that you're supposed to perform because then you just get all shaky and you're not going to perform it as well as you would if you're confident in yourself. And some things I could take from that was kind of like the round one where it was interviews and it was nice to do that because that helps me speak with people now. I just remember what I did during the shake and that could help me in my future to apply for any jobs I would want to get. Thank you, Zane. All right, next we have some pictures of the shake. Uh, here are two sixth grade students on the left, uh, all dressed nice for round one interviews. Uh, they went through an interview gauntlet where we had five people from the community um, interview each student for one minute. Uh, they had a selected question they were supposed to ask, and then the students were supposed to answer that question and then have follow-up uh, responses and kind of carry that conversation for a whole minute, which is a pretty long time for one question. So here's a picture of a sixth grader getting interviewed by a community member. Uh, round one, again, we have Charlie right here getting interviewed by Mr. Post, and that got us down to our top 12 students. So there's our top 12 students from Hicksville that went on to compete in round two. For round two, we have a quick slideshow. And this is where they're at in the Huber. And they were competing in those tasks that uh, Allie talked about. So each, we had uh, 12 home people. They were split up into groups of three. And they worked together in teamwork and teams trying to compete in these tasks. We were judged on how well they were able to be a good teammate, how they were able to be a leader, how well they could take instruction from their, uh, their peers to carry out these tasks. On that task there, they had to build a, a house, but the instructions were with one person, and then that person had a runner go back and forth on how they were actually going to construct the house without looking at the instructions. From our top 12, from that we got narrowed down to our top five, who are four or five here today. And uh, here's some pictures of round three. Round three was broke up in those two parts. Uh, they were working with uh, six preschool, six preschoolers at a time, trying to teach them a game. And uh, that was in, they had no idea about what was gonna happen around three as well. So here are you know, 11 and 12 year olds working with six and seven year olds trying to instruct them on a game. And uh, I mean, I have three little ones at home and I tell you what, they did a much better job than I am at just parenting my own kids. Um, they did a great job of introducing the games. And then here is uh, Maddie, our shake winner teaching uh, or telling us about her favorite era and why she liked that. Maddie, what was your favorite era? Um, I chose 1900 to 1929, the Roaring 20s. And why did you choose the Roaring 20s? Um, I chose them because I feel like they would be a very exciting era over the top. All right, well, thank you very much. Um, does anybody have any questions about our Hicksville Shake? How did it get its name? Well, um, before we went to Ron Clark uh, Academy in Georgia, they have a, uh, an amazing shake is what they call theirs. And uh, they have their students compete in their amazing shake. That's kind of where we stole the idea from. 
Uh, in fact, three years ago, we sent our winner and runner-up to Georgia so they could be in the national shake at uh, the Ryan Clark Academy. How did, how did we do there? I, uh, I'm not sure exactly how we did there. Mr. Country, do you know? Offhand? We didn't get to the final. Uh, but uh, it was a great experience for them to be able to go and, and be with the kids from, and compete with the kids from the Ron Clark Academy itself. So they learned a lot of, a lot of great thoughts going there. In the Defiance County Shake, uh, two years ago, we were very successful at Hexel Schools. They've done that twice in the county. The county yeah. shake where they have the Defiance schools in the county go and compete, and Hexel won both times. Yes. How long did the rounds take? How many days? Uh, it was over a two-day period. So we had round one for the from basically eight until eleven, and then round two and three happened the next day, and it basically took the whole day. And then I have a second question: yeah. Are the children required to do it, or is this an optional? Do you guys mind? It's it's required to do it. Got it. It's rather you try hard or not to make it to the next round. Right. Now you. you guys weren't graded on it in your classes though. Right. There there's no classroom grades attached to it. Oh. But they all, they all, as they essentially say, strive to do your best. So they all yeah. did their best no matter what, even without a grade attached to it. We practiced a lot in our classes, mm -hmm. though, but it was not for a grade. Yeah. Yeah. And also, to further answer your question, it's got it, it got its name by uh, the handshake. Okay. We couldn't do that this year, though. Yeah, we couldn't do that this year. Do you do something to grade that one? The first round that they introduced themselves, so we couldn't do that this year. It was a spinoff with Ron Clark Academy, the Amazing Shape with the Amazing Race. That's where I kind of got his name originally. A lot of, uh, they both, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times uh, the kids don't realize all these soft skills and stuff that they're learning, the impact that it's going to have on them later in life. And uh, we, we hear it from uh, tons of other schools. When our kids go and compete at another school, we never really have to tell them to dress appropriately to represent the school, for example. They just know that what the expectation is at Hicksville, if you're gonna go represent Hicksville School, then you need to look appropriate. And every time, uh, we didn't get to do it this year because of COVID, but there's an event that they do at Defiance and there's scads of schools there and kids that go, I, I'm not even sure what it is anymore that they do there. They, they, they did it at the college. The Defiance County Shake? The no, leadership. No, the leadership. Have to do with the shake. Yeah. Are you talking about the Hillary State where all those kids come in? Maybe that, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, the world. Uh, not world the world meetings. workshop. But anyhow, there's events that they have there. And we always get people that send us notes and mm -hmm. say that, you know, your kids were so professional and they look so nice. They don't look like slobs like a lot of kids <laughs> do when they go out and represent it. But the kids don't realize that, I don't think, when they're this young until they're older that, you know, one of the things, when, when they go to a job interview, we want them to stick out above all the other, the other kids, and this is one thing that will help them do that. I think another thing is those high expectations our school has for our students, and uh, since it starts at such a young age, the kids just naturally uh, kind of go towards that. Uh, at our school, we uh, one time we hosted um, lots of teachers coming into our school for PD, and uh, the most common question we got from those teachers coming to watch our classes is, how do you get your kids to do that? And it's such a hard answer because we didn't get them to do that, they just naturally do that because of our expectations from kindergarten all the way through our 12th grades. Yeah, and sorry Mike, I have to say this, but he, he says that the high expectations for the kids, well, we have those same high expectations for our employees too. And I fought a lot of battles on that one because uh, we want them at the same level as our kids. And I have the same expectations for the help that we have for the kids. And if you don't want to work hard, then don't work or go to Hicksville School. Go somewhere else. <laughs> Anybody else have any questions for us? Uh, the last picture here is uh, Maddie with her, uh, her plaque and in Zane. Uh, Maddie also won a $250 scholarship from the Hicksville Bank. Great job, Maddie. Wow. Can we get a round of applause for Maddie? Yeah. And Dave? Yeah. And our top four of our five, uh, top five winners. It's an awesome job, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Altman, and congratulations, Maddie and Allie and uh, Charlie and Zane. Uh, great job, and you all speak.
you know, as well or better than most of the programs we have here. So uh, I'll just <laughs> tell you that, and uh, you guys have all the great futures in front of you, I'm sure. So.